Devin Haney versus George Cambosos 2. Devin Haney defending his undisputed titles at 135 pounds. I'm here to get my post-fight thoughts on that, man. I told people the fight probably was going to be worse for George Cambosos. And that's what happened. It was worse. More of an ass whooping. He figured he already had him figured out in the first fight. So going into the second fight, he knew what he had to do. He turned it up a little bit. And now he turned the notch up on um, George Cambosos. But Cambosos did much better in this fight than he did the last time. He did some adjustments. He was more aggressive in this fight. He didn't really let the jab really deter him much. But... Devin, Devin wasn't using the jab as much as he was. The first fight, he was mostly the jab. This fight, he was mixing it up a little bit more. He was more planted a little bit more in this fight. Towards the end, I mean, uh, I think George Cambosos and Devin clashed heads. Devin caught a cut because of the headbutt. But I think Devin cracked Cambosos with a right and then split open his eye right here on the left. That was a punch that did that. And then I think they they butted again, and then George Cambosos had this gash on the side of his head. It was crazy. But they was begging it out, too. It was like the end. You It looked like he was going to knock him out. He had him. He looked like he was going to stop him. It looked like Dev was about to stop Cambosos, I think, in the 10th or the 11th round. But he just ain't have the power, bro. He just, you know, he had him, bro. And I'm sitting there like, Dev, get him. Get him, Dev. Knock him out. You got him, Dev. He was hurt. He had him. You just don't have the power, bro. It, it, I mean, I, like I said, I don't know if it's the division, the draining, because like, he looked it really emaciated, bro. You know, hey, man, I don't know. And I mean, it, listen, we're going to have to see when he gets to 140. If, if Devin ain't getting the knockouts at 140, bro, it is what it is. That's just not his thing. He's just not a power puncher, man. Everything ain't about power, though, man. You don't need power for everything. But it's good to get, get your opponent out of there. You don't, you know, to have the power to get him out when you clearly see he ain't going nowhere. You might want to get him out. It's good to get him out of there. For Sometimes these boxes get stronger. You know, you want to get him out. And, I, and, and, this, and at 135, he, he, he don't got it like that, man. It's not, he's he, especially, well, stepping up in competition. He was He got 15 knockouts, man. I don't remember what year was it the last time he had a knockout. Was that 2018? So he didn't have a knockout in like five years. Something like that. Four or five years. But he got the win. That's what really counts, bro. He got the win the way he got the win. Okay, so it was still much more of an exciting fight than the first one. Devin, blistering speed, bro. And he was hitting Cambosos with some shit. And I'm like, man, if Devin had the power... He would have been got Cambosos out of there, bro. He would have got him out in like five rounds, bro. He would have got him out. If that was like a tank or somebody like that, they would have got him out, man. Early, they would have got him out. Uh, maybe. Because, listen, I, you know, tank is the hardest punch at 135, supposedly. You got to ask yourself, man. Tank couldn't even get Gamboa out of there. Uh, you know, Gamboa just kept getting up. So is that tank's power overrated or is it because Gamboa is a tough motherfucker? You got to look at it like that sometimes. Tio Fimo Lopez dropped Cambosos. And Key Tio Fimo has more power than Devin Haney. And he still wasn't able to stop Cambosos. So maybe Cambosos is just that tough, bro. He just that tough. I, I think I only seen him get knocked out in sparring. He got knocked out in, in, the, in the amateurs, I think. That was it, bro. I don't think Cambosos, he never been knocked out. He never been knocked out, bro. So he's tough, man. He's a tough dude. So. It might not just be because Devin Haney don't have the power. It might not just be his power. It just mean and just probably because Cam Bosos is just tough, bro. That's what it is. Um, so now Devin, uh, he clearly won this fight in more convincing fashion. He didn't get the knockout, but that's fine. He he whooped his ass worse than he did in the first fight. So he's uh, he defended his titles. And where does he go from here? Next stop, from what I'm hearing, is Vasily Lomachenko. So. If he can make that weight one more time for Vasil Lomachenko, or at least twice to fight Tank, I don't think he got two more fights at this division, man. Some people say he should just move up, forget Loma, and just move up to 140. Because Loma not going up to 140 to fight him. So I'd like to see him fight Loma before he leave the division. I would like to see that. So shout out to Devin Haney, man. Did his fucking thing, man. 
Cambosos, that saga is done. On the new things now, man. Let me know what you think. This your boy Rebel Life Boxing. I'll catch you on the next one, and I'm out. Peace.